Every Friday at the Carlson Gymnasium, you'll find one of CU's hockey teams practicing, but you won't find them on ice. Underwater hockey. Invented in England in 1954, it's a six-on-six -six game that requires players to hold their breaths for 15 to 20 seconds at a time. It's a sport that CU graduate student Tiara Yulberg loves. You pretty much know right away if it's a sport you're going to stick with. The game takes some getting used to, but it basically plays just as the name would suggest, like hockey, but underwater. Well, the puck sits on the bottom of the pool because it's, it's very heavy, and um, the teams are facing each other from opposite ends, trying to push the puck into the goal. Tierra started playing underwater hockey six years ago. She loves it so much that in August she became the president of the Underwater Hockey Club at CU. As president, she's gotten many of the current members to join the club. I was wondering what she was doing, you know, to put on the pool with that puck and then that stick. And so I asked her, and she's like, oh, it's underwater hockey. Have you ever heard of it? No. And she, I gave it a shot, you know, and uh, I, just, I just loved it. Underwater hockey is unheard of where Wayne comes from in Tahiti. But according to Yulberg, the sport is popular in some parts of the world. Yeah, actually in Australia and New Zealand. Um, I've heard that kids grow up in high school playing underwater hockey as though it were basketball or soccer. So... We have a ways to go to catch up with that. <laughs> Yulberg and the rest of the club certainly hope that the game will become more popular, but as much as they love it, they won't be holding their breath.